Welcome everyone. What we're gonna speak about today is the concept of basophilia and acidophilia. At what on earth do these terms reflect? In histology, you will most definitely come across these terms acidophilic or basophilic structures. So what do they mean? We know in histological preparation of tissues, there is the staining step where we stain component of tissues in order to better visualize element because without staining, it will be difficult for us to identify the relevant cell types and features. And you usually use acidic and basic dyes to stain tissue components. So from here, these terms acidophilia and basophilia comes. Basophilia, the term philia meaning love, and baso is referring to basic dyes. So technically, it is love basic dyes. Thus, basophilia is the tendency of cellular and tissue component to bind basic dyes and reject the acidic ones. And acidophilia, the term philia meaning love also, and acido is referring to acidic dyes. So technically, it is love acidic dyes. Thus, acidophilia is tendency of cellular and tissue component to bind acidic dyes and reject the basic ones. To clarify one idea here, we know that acidic dyes will interact with basic structures or element, and basic dyes interact with acidic elements. And remember that acidic meaning with negative charge or anionic structures. Basic meaning with net positive charge or cationic structures. That is, basic structures are called acidophilic because they bind or stain with acidic dyes which are negatively charged. So basic structures are called acidophilic because they bind to acidic dyes. And acidic structures are basophilic. Why? Because they bind or stain with basic dyes. For example, basic positively charged structures include mitochondria and collagen fiber because they are rich in positively charged amino acid. Note that example of acidic dyes include eosin. That's why you would see the term eosinophilia is used interchangeably with the term acidophilia. And they are so-called eosinophilic structure because they love or bind to eosin, and eosin is technically an acidic dye. Other example of acidophilic components include the organic matrix of bone tissue because it's rich in collagen fiber type 1, and as we said, collagen fiber in general are rich in, uh, especially type 1, is rich in uh, positively charged amino acid. So they are basic structure, thus they bind with acidic dyes, so they are acidophilic. Cytoplasm of red blood cells because of richness in hemoglobin, muscle cells because of richness in myofilaments, and eosinophilic granules in eosinophil. That's why they are called eosinophil, because they love or bind with eosin. On the other hand, acidic negatively charged structures include nucleic acid, DNA, RNA, because of phosphate group, remember it's negatively charged, so they are acidic components, so they bind with basic dyes, thus they are basophilic. Glycosaminoglycane because of sulfate group also negatively charged, thus they bind with uh, basic dyes. So an example is cytoplasm of fibroblast, chondroblast, and osteoblast is basophilic. Why? Okay, as we have said, basophilic meaning they will stain with basic dyes. And why basic dyes and not acidic dyes? Uh, the cytoplasm of these cells have very well developed RER. Knowing that the ER contain ribonucleic acid, and there are ribosomes attached to RER, and ribosomes also contain ribonucleic acid, which are negatively charged. Thus, they are acidic components. That means they bind with basic dyes, thus making this structure a basophilic. So, the cytoplasm of these cells is rich in very well developed RER. That's why they stain with basic dyes, and thus they are basophilic. That's why cells implicated in protein synthesis are basophilic, usually stain with basic dyes. Other example of basophilic components that stain with basic dyes are cartilage matrix because of richness in glycoproteins and uh, glycosaminoglycane. Basophilic granules in basophil, that's why it's called basophil because it's rich in these granules that stain with basic dyes. Uh, also mast cells and the nucleus also is a basophilic component because as we have said, the nucleus technically contain the nucleic acid which are negatively charged and thus stain with basic dyes. So as a sum up here, the term basophilia and acidophilia refer to the tendency of cellular elements and tissue component to bind with basic dyes and acidic dyes respectively. Basophilia, base loving, stain with basic dyes, so they are acidic or anionic components, example nucleic acid due to phosphate group, glycosaminoglycane due to sulfate group. On the other hand, acidophilia or eosinophilia, that is acid loving, stain with acidic dyes so they are basic or cationic component example as you have said collagen especially collagen type 1 and mitochondria 
Additional note that you will uh, may see in some references, they describe dyes with a such general formula. For acidic dye, it is Na plus by uh, minus. Why? Because as we have said, acidic dye are negatively charged, so they bind with positively charged element. And for basic dyes, it is dye plus Cl minus because basic dyes are positively charged and bind with negatively charged element. So this is a wrap up of the differences or what does basophilia and acidophilia mean? Thank you for watching.